Uh, my name is Slavomir, so Slavek, like in Polish. Uh, I'm the manager of IT department in the hospital in the southern regions of uh, Poland. Uh, also, uh, enthusiast and uh, open source, uh, so about open source and uh, many years user of GLPI. It's uh, it's my saying. It must be a love uh, from the first click. So I saw the tool, the software. Uh, I have one requirement. It must automatically uh, search for all the assets that are online and uh, try to put them in the uh, database. Uh, because the soft, uh, the paid software I was using back there, uh, it will it will give me only the option manually asset by asset some hardware uh, every hard disk every cpu make it into a computer then put it together and it was one number inventory number so i had to manually put all like uh, 30 computers uh, it was a small small company so 30 computers by hand to this uh, software. With GLPI and the uh, inventory plugins, uh, I was able to make it in like two days uh, and not a uh, few, few months. So it was a big, big win, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and also uh, this uh, software, paid software. Uh, back then I will, I will have it uh, in the, only on my computer, so, or on the server, it was not so obvious, uh, and with GLPI, I will I, I could uh, install it on pretty much anything because it has so so low requirements, uh, and uh, I was able to log into it from any computer. So it was uh, biggest strength. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, in in every every company I worked, uh, it was the time that for, first uh, I will search is for uh, IT inventory. So, do do this company has any inventory of IT assets? Uh, and uh, in ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent, the answer was no. <laughs> so, so first thing I will grab is. Uh, a piece of hardware, so a computer that was laying around uh, and make the install process of GLPI and start from scratch. But in uh, like a month or two, uh, I was able to to see the real inventory uh, of the, the uh, all assets that I will need to manage. It's never easy <laughs> if you if you have something that you are uh, working in uh, and uh, you have the knowledge, you, you know what to click <laughs> in, in short. So switching is, is not very easy, but uh, the, the downside is you have to make this choice. Uh, the paid uh, the paid software had some uh, some flaws like you had uh, you have only limited uh, license to uh, two person to two users at once so with glpi it's not such thing uh, you didn't have the uh, you had the assets so put it manually and by the plugins it, and that were ad uh, automatically uh, switch the online assets to glpi uh, but uh, there was a problem. So the problem was uh, documents. How to put documents like invoices, contracts, and how to manage them uh, in regards to uh, the IT and not so IT assets. I will mention that not so IT assets a few times because, in my opinion, uh, this is the one of the biggest strength of uh, GLPI. It's not for. It's not only for IT department. Uh, we use uh, 9.5. We are about to switch to 10, but uh, because uh, we are uh, 
right after showing our uh, stuff, the, the GLPI in its current form. So switching to 10 will be <laughs> teaching them uh, all over. So it, it will be hard. So uh, in, um, I think, two months, we will switch to version 10. At this time, we have uh, uh, about 200 computers that are currently used. 100 uh, uh, other computers are transferred for disposal, but we have them in the GLPI. Uh, more than 120 printers, uh, 160 suppliers, uh, over 500 documents, uh, and half of them are contracts and uh, way over 100 network devices. So there are switches, APs, uh, controllers, uh, PDUs, and so on. Uh, we are rather small hospital. Uh, so, uh, and I am also very happy that uh, GLPI is uh, very scalable. So uh, we have it on a very small server uh, on VM, and uh, there are no problems with the functionality or the speed of it's um, how it's running but uh, i know if, that if we need scale it up it will be no problem for us one is not so obvious <laughs> because um, uh, we have to um, manage our documentation strict to poland rules and uh, uh, sometimes not mainly you use paper for this so we, there are some numbers that when the documents is received from for the hospital when we received in our department uh, how which uh, signatures are on this doc document so uh, making some uh, plugins to glpi we have uh, some uh, additional fields to documents in this way, we can manage uh, in the e-space our documents that we we should make on on paper, so manually. So it's not an obvious way to to manage something in GLPI, but it's very helpful, and it works. Uh, first of all, I'm working in a hospital. So the main thing is inventory of uh, hospital equipment. Uh, there are some plugins to it. Uh, they, they need some work. <laughs> but uh, you, with only the GLPI, you are able to, to make inventory of, uh, of uh, hospital equipment. And uh, I guess in other countries also, but in Poland, we have strict uh, rules and laws about uh, how to uh, inventory and uh, how to manage hospital equipment. Uh, you have to have uh, a kind of passport with every equipment. Uh, you have to have uh, contracts and uh, you have to service uh, by month, monthly, qu by quarter or half year or one once a year, this equipment. You have to uh, remember to service this, those equipment. So, uh, of course, there are some softwares that uh, that have this feature, but uh, I will get back to what I've said uh, earlier. Uh, the problem is you pay for uh, mainly for per user uh, per user uh, login. So, for example, only uh, you pay not so little money, but only one person can uh, at a time using use this software. So if you pay double, then two people. And it's annoying. Uh, another thing is uh, in, in hospital also, but uh, uh, equipment that isn't online. So you can't make an in automatic inventory of it uh, by putting an uh, agent or by uh, some protocols you, you can uh, see what you have in your uh, network, but uh, the uh, racks don't have protocols. The PDUs mainly don't have network protocols. That the other offline, typically offline uh, equipment and items that 
you you can just put into network so but with glpi they are just assets so you put them you have documents contracts contacts to disk to suppliers and you, in one place you just place a uh, search by name search by supplies supplier search by uh, some documents so and you have all the data you need Um, the feature that, that I can uh, show GLPI to every um, staff in the hospital. So, uh, for example, if uh, someone works in the administration, so they have to manage uh, the contracts, for example. So uh, I will just make a profile for them, uh, make the, their department in the GLPI, and they will see only uh, these documents, these contracts that are for them. If, for example, I want to uh, want to, uh, want them to see where uh, printers are, but only see, okay, I will make uh, such rules that will, they will see all the printers in all the uh, rooms, but only see, not edit. Of course, we have to make all the IT stuff that we are making day by day but we are managing uh, what we are uh, involved in in the uh, IT. So not only uh, making sure that the network is secure, but also know what contracts are currently, what are past, what are what is in those. It's uh, very easy to use and easy to show every everything regarding to every every part of the equipment that is in the in the GLPI. First of all, the GLPI is free, okay? Yeah, it's free. Uh, every time I make uh, statements about GLPI, I will show someone GLPI. Uh, they will uh, they will tell that, uh, yeah, but we have something similar. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's paid software, but uh, we all, we have these assets uh, in, in our hands there so it's very it's very hard to switch if you are using something uh, but the biggest strength and i i will uh, i'm sure i this is like fourth time i i mentioning it it's not only for the it department it's not only for the it stuff it's for all the people that are working in companies in public places it's for them so the GLPI can be software to manage all assets in company, not only the IT stuff. And this is, I think, the greatest thing in in this software uh, that you can that you can uh, take suppliers, take contacts to those suppliers to all are uh, or is connected. So if you only knew that you have a printer that it's called Kyocera, so you put the name in the search Kyocera, and you have not only printers, but also contracts. If in contract is mentioning Kyocera, if a contact or supplier is like Kyocera, you have on all on one screen. So uh, in my lectures, and I, I know some companies, many actually in Poland, that are, have uh, paid software, uh, with inventory uh, capability, so or mainly for inventory, uh, and they are not happy that I'm talking about GLPI. <laughs> so, um, but they have uh, they put uh, they are uh, they are focusing on some other things than uh, GLPI, I think. Uh, so, for for all those people to. Uh, will try first of all try first of all uh, see what uh, what it's capable of uh, you can make it by uh, cloud uh, you can put it very easily if you have some basic linux knowledge you can uh, install it uh, on your vm or on a spare spare uh, pc in, in your home lab or in your company and just try to use it and uh, the the first time that you will try to install it it will be fine 
the third. Uh, because the first time it will be like wow but i don't have time you will the second time will be okay we will try it but we you make some mistakes about uh, the configuration uh, of your company in regards to glpi and uh, third time is the charm 